everybody. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video. Went out digging yesterday and actually found some pretty cool stuff. But I'm only going to show, uh, I guess, my entry into the 8-track world. <laughs> uh, been watching uh, a few members showing 8-tracks, you know, like uh, Laz and LJ and everybody. And it's like, man, I see 8-tracks, I'll just start trying to pick up some cool ones. So I jumped in yesterday. And the first thing I needed was to find a player. So at a yard sale, found this fisher. Was very excited. Then uh, it's very clean. And the guy basically hooked it up. We saw the meters were moving. Thought, oh, that's cool. But I got home and it's dead. It, uh, and the yard sale is too far away to take it back and all that. It's about an hour away from here. But uh, it just makes a hum and loud noises and you can barely hear music underneath. So, still on the hunt for a player. Which kind of sucks. I thought this thing was kind of cool. It looked pretty neat and it would would have been perfect. So I like to find something about this size, just something small. But I did pick up some pretty cool 8-tracks off this guy. Uh, and what I want to do with the 8-tracks, same thing I did with, or I do with cassettes, is just get what I, what I consider a little more obscure and uh, not just pick up everything. You know, I don't need all the sticks on 8-track or, or whatever. I'm just kind of looking for more uh, stuff, kind of wow stuff, I guess. So or to me anyways. <laughs> so I'll show you, I got two, four, six, seven yesterday. And I'll show you these uh, real quick. This one unfortunately is, I'm still learning I guess here with the 8-tracks. This one I don't think is going to play because I noticed the uh, little foam pad underneath the uh, tape is pretty much deteriorated and gone. But I thought this was kind of cool. It's a uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex Unicorn. really pretty good shape for an 8-track, I'm thinking. And any of you guys into the 8-tracks know how to refoam or whatever, put something underneath there, I can get this thing to play. That would be cool. I don't know if you can see that. This one, I guess, isn't kind of rare, but it's, it's still sealed on Capricorn. It's uh, Craig Allman, laid back. Uh, 1973. I thought that was kind of cool. Still sealed with a 99 cent price tag on the bottom. And someone at one point looks like they had dollar 99 on it. They call in all of these cost me uh, I don't know anywhere from 75 cents to a buck total. This I thought was really cool. Uh, Pretties for you, Alice Cooper. A yellow uh, cart. And the tape looks really good. Hopefully when I get a player it'll sound good. This I don't know. I thought this was really cool so I grabbed it. It's uh, Billy Holiday. The real Billy Holiday story on Alto. <clears throat> Next, uh, Jimi Hendrix, Smash Hits, another yellow card. It's on reprise. I guess with the eight tracks, I kind of want to pick up stuff that, in my head, I think <laughs> should be on eight track that I can just picture. You know, this should be on eight track, and I think this is one definitely is uh, the cult.
car wash soundtrack. I love this movie. So, I thought I'd grab that. And this, I think, is extremely cool. Uh, it's still sealed. It's the seeds. A full spoonful of seedy blues. Cool cardboard there. Sleeve. See it's still all sealed. But that was pretty crazy. I don't even see this stuff on vinyl. And find a sealed A track I thought was pretty cool. So there you go, there's the big 8-track collection so far, and now I need to find a player. If anybody comes across something about this size and mega cheap, uh, let me know, maybe work something out. I, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to be now before I uh, come across one at a yard sale. The guy had to dig this one out as I bought these 8-tracks. I was like, you have a player, do you? It's like, yeah. So you had to go digging through the garage and pulled it out. I was all excited. It looked like it worked. We popped an A track in and the meter started bouncing. And it's like, alright. But oh well. Uh, alright, well, quick video. Just wanted to show you. And I do have some cool vinyl I picked up from yesterday. And uh, I'll try and show you that in the next few days. If maybe not later this evening or something. So, alright. Thanks for watching.